million bucks estimate. I think the market's peaked for Degas. Ah, a Degas. Very expensive. Isn't she just perfect? It certainly is. I remember the day it was painted. This little masterpiece means a whole world to me. The truth is, it gave me a whole new understanding of art. Well, did you say you were there when it was painted? Yes, I was. Oh, that's really neat. See the date? Yeah. 1908. I was on a world lecture tour with Mom and Dad. My tutor, Helen Seymour, was in charge of me in Paris. That's what I let her think, <laughs> anyway. Back home, Taft was elected president, and Jack Johnson was the first black boxing heavyweight champion. It was the beginning of a new century, and the modern age was upon us. Paris was the city of art, and Miss Seymour was determined that I should see all of it. Bye, Mom. Goodbye. Bye, Father. Bye, Junior. Take good care of Miss Seymour. Yes. I will. Have a good trip. See you later. Oh! No, don't. Hi there, yes. Hi. Yes, thank you. Come along. Ah, good boy. Ah, oh, candy. May I miss Seymour, please? No, Henry. You've only just had your breakfast. And we want to get to the Louvre before it opens. Come on. Don't touch the stuff. Thank you so much. It smells so good. This is the greatest painting in the world. Isn't it wonderful? See, her eyes follow you wherever you go. <laughs> Even in the bathroom? Henry. Leonardo da Vinci took three years to paint Mona Lisa. Just think of it. She had to smile for three years. So Leonardo had musicians playing in the studio all the time and singers and comedians to keep her amused. This is how you do it. You puff your cheeks and you take in a breath. See? Easy. You don't need to be an funny man. That's great. My name's Indy. I'm Norman. Introduce yourself properly. This is Henry Jones, Jr. I'm Miss Seymour, and you are Norman? Rockwell. No, I like this one. Look at the amazing nose. Gilandio. The boy is the old man's grandson. Oh, well, we've seen the smiles and we've seen the noses. So what's next? Well, we haven't seen the modern artists yet. Do you see the way the table is cut off at the end? That's new? Degas, French, new. But I don't get it. It looks fuzzy. Well, it's called Impressionism, Henry. It's the art of giving a general effect without worrying too much about the detail. Impressionists claim it's the freshest way for an artist to see the world. Now, what do you think, Henry? Yes, well, I suppose looking at these canvases all day can be tiresome. I know just the cure, and Norman can come too if he likes. What is it? Well, something you can only find in Paris. to go. I have some letters to write, and Henry, I seem to recall a certain essay on Leonardo da Vinci. You mean we're not going to stay for the second show? Oh, yeah, we should stay. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know. 
You can go to the hotel and write your letters, and we'll return right after the show, and then I can do my Da Vinci paper. Well, all right. Well, I suppose it wouldn't do any harm. But stay together. Now, just watch one more, and then back to the hotel in one hour. So, where do you want to go? You want to see where the real artists hang out? I don't know. I've seen a lot of art for one day. Yeah, yeah, maybe you're too young. It's a pretty dangerous place. Really? Beats New York, eh? Hello, Norman. Pencils and a notebook, right? Uh, yeah. Where'd you learn to draw? I don't know. Everybody asked me that. I guess I just picked it up like a bag of lemon drops. Could I have a look? Oh, sure. Oh. That's Dr. Alfonso Rockwell from Queens. He's my most famous ancestor. Guess what he invented? What? The electric chair. Wow. How did he think of that? Thought hanging was inhumane. Reckon the chair was kinder. Me, I don't know. Those are my aunts. They give Bibles to convicts at Sing Sing. And those are my parents. That's great. You really can draw. My parents are very religious, too. I don't think they'd approve of where we're going. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Do spend some time with me, boys. No. Speak French? Deux omelette et du pain. Oh. I improved it. Hey, look. That's Degas. We saw his paintings at the Louvre. Who's the other guy? I don't know. I did. You didn't. I'm sorry, but I still don't like them. Because you don't understand them. I understand them, but I just don't like them. You think they are indecent, is that it? Indecent? My dear fellow, a few years ago, every critic in Paris called my work indecent. I couldn't pay a gallery to show my paintings. So don't tell me about decency in art. And tell me, why do you dislike them? Because they are destructive. You are throwing out perspective and composition. Exactly because we need a new way of seeing. Oh, a new way of seeing is fine. I can't tell if that is a woman or a cow. Again, my point. I see shape, the real shape, the form. Uh, the real shape of a woman is different from the real shape of a cow. <laughs> now, my dear fellow, you ask for my opinion and I give it to you. But I must warn you. Do you know what people are saying? That your new paintings will destroy you. Who says that? Matisse. 
Uh, that uh, Russian collector. Uh, to Shukin. Shukin. <laughs> he actually wept, telling me what a loss you are for French art. You are bringing art not just to an end, but to a dead end. You are not a bad painter. But the man who did this couldn't do what I do. Good day. Jigger! I can do what you do in my sleep! Monsieur Degas, Pablo doesn't want to offend you. No offense taken. Oh, once he was the master. Now his mind has grown old, stale, and closed. I can paint him into the ground! Wait a minute. I can't say that about him. What? That's Degas. He's a great artist. Nobody can paint like him. I better get back to my hotel. Excuse me. So, you think I can't paint like him? to come to my studio and see me paint like him. Can I finish my art? Forget it! We're talking about art. What's your name, little man? Jones. What's yours? I am Picasso. Most paintings of nude women pose for an audience. Degas women don't. We are with them in private, like here. He says he likes his women washing to be like a she-cat, licking herself. He sees women without mercy. Their skin turns pink and blue like ours does when we're washing. He puts on layers of pastel. But the chalk isn't like oil paint in layers, is it? See, it drops off. Final stage. The final stage? To get Degas right, you must do it as he does. From memory. Degas likes to feel what he's doing. You didn't like his painting? No, I like it very much. I'd just rather see him paint like himself and not like Degas. In that case, follow me. My goodness. You like it? Yes, but what is it? It's like blocks or cubes or... Cubism, the newest of the new. What Pablo has done is, he's taken human bodies to bits and rearranged everything. What's he doing here? Those are mine. And a lot of people can't tell the difference. Do you mind that? It's the paintings that matter. 
You see, a cubist landscape shows how the Earth is made of solid shapes at different distances from the viewer. But it doesn't look real. Is it the painter's job to make everything look absolutely real? Isn't it exciting, this idea to make you feel to see beyond? You see, I can do a Dega, but he can do one of mine. Hey, very good, young fellow. It is as good as I could have done myself. I'm hungry. Ah, bonjour. Uh, vous voulez bien me suivre, s'il vous plaît. the inspector what happened. He should have been back hours ago. He was at the puppet theater. I called, but they're closed. We must begin a search. Do you speak English? Madame, I speak perfect English. We will do everything possible to find the young man. <laughs> we will not pour water on trouble oil. I promise you. I am an expert kidnapper of small children. Come with us. No, no. We are working. But you must eat. Come. It will be fun. <laughs> Aren't you hungry? But Miss Seymour will kill me. And miss the chance of being with these guys? No. You're finished eat. Ah, for you, for a painting. <laughs> Open it. Holy smokes, a Louis Blair Yope. Like him, we are pioneers. But our plane is the imagination. Get my painting. It's waiting for you. <laughs> hey, Norman, that's for the beautiful lady, huh? No. She likes you. She likes you. Go on. Come. Come. Go, Indy. Go. Go. Have some fun. I want to go. Get Ega to sign my painting. That is a very dirty trick, Pablo. I know. Where are the other girls? Picasso. Again. Let's go. Girl and mine. Hey, what are you saying? 
are enjoying themselves. Alors, Picasso, je m'en fous, moi. Elles sont à moi, les filles. Franchement, Jacqueline et Pauline, elles travaillent pour moi. Couchons, là. Not only the greatest painter of his day, he was a visionary who was hundreds of years ahead of his time. Da Vinci imagined many things that have just been invented, like the aeroplane. What are they looking for? Oranges. Once in a while, your market boys, they miss one or two. Delicious. <laughs> Why did you decide to become a painter? Most men, they have choice. Become a banker, a lawyer, tailor, mechanic. Me, I have no choice. No true artist has choice. I must create in order to feel alive. What am I? A bull. Right, a bull. One minute a cycle, the next a bull. Magic. Change. From one thing to another. That's what I do. I create a new way of seeing things. But your pictures don't look like anything. What do you mean? Well, the pictures of those ladies in your studio, they don't even look like ladies. Not to your eyes, but to mine they do. That is the difference between a painter like me and the master Leonardo. The great Da Vinci and even Ortega paint with accuracy. When he paint a wild horse, it looked like a wild horse. But when you paint a wild horse, what does it look like? You might not see the horse. But you will certainly see the wildness. That. Is the essence of the new painting. I am trying to give spirit a form. True art is emotion. Tell your tutor, uh, Picasso told you that. <laughs> she doesn't even know who he is. But one day she will. One day she will. Come to the party tomorrow night. Don't forget. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. I can't get those paintings out of my head. Look, the streets look different. They haven't changed. They look different to me. Where's the girl? Tell us where the girl is. Ah! Where are the girls? like graveyards. They are haunted. You idiot, you coward, we lose them! <laughs> Stop it! Quick, 
in here. Ah! It's a ghost! Ah! Be quiet. Ah! Be quiet. Be quiet. This way. I think they heard us. It's only the night watchman. He's completely drunk. No, no! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! It came from over here. Leonardo in the meaning of art. Henry, you were not in your room last night. I was working here, where it's quiet. See, I must have fallen asleep. Are you going to punish me? No. This looks like punishment. This isn't punishment. No, it isn't. You will not leave this room until you finish Les Miserables. Great title.
o'clock, you will see yourself to bed. Bonne nuit, Henry. You. The world's gone crazy, woman. First was Seymour locked me in my room, but then I escaped and nearly fell from the rooftops. Okay, we don't want these guys to think we're weird, all right? This is a grown-up party. It's kind of serious. <laughs> Cubist paintings. He'll have to die to get one of his paintings. <laughs> oh. Fernand. This is Mr. Count Weiler. He's a famous art dealer. This is Norman. He's a great painter. <laughs> then this is Gertrude Stein. Hello. And this is Alice B. Toklas. Hello. Castle. <laughs> this is like the owl. 
ama. Rosso! Rosso! And this is Rousseau, the primitive painter. Your speech! We are the two great painters of the age. Say, si, gracias. You, in the Egyptian style. Me, in the modern. Tell us your ghost story. Oh, no. I'm too frightened. Be brave. Tell us. Tell, come on, tell the story. Be brave. Oh, tell it. Come on. Yes. Tell it. Come on. The ghost walks the catacombs. He presides over the dead of Paris. He is the supreme phantom. And satanic messenger. <laughs> he is on the roofs and in the doorway. Gauguin saw the ghost. And Vincent, too. He told me. Then! When old Paris slept, the ghost arrived. Tutor. Would you please put that thing down? I can't see much. What's he going to do to her? I don't know. Do you think he's going to hurt her? No, I don't think so. Let me look again. Do you always draw people without asking them first? You didn't ask to come here. Don't move! You can't frighten me. If you don't keep quiet, the trolling will frighten both of us. Sit still! Can't I talk? No. You leave the talking to me. Those two boys have shown me they love art. You should let them be more independent. They will really understand art if they spend a little more time with me. I'm not sure the police will agree with you. The police are like critics. They have as much to do with art and artists as ornithology has for the birds. I'd like to look. No! To be perfectly honest, Senor Picasso, you are one of the rudest men I have ever met. When I want lessons in good manners from the English, I'll ask. No! Good Lord. It is not a religious drawing. No, I know, but... You really can draw. Better than anyone alive. Don't boast. Why not? It's true. It's absolutely beautiful. And? Time to go. Miss Seymour, what do you think of this painting? Look. Oh, a dead guy, isn't it? One of his best, I think. Yes, isn't it perfect? He's such a talented man. How long have you had it? Oh, no long. And how much did you say you uh, paid for it? Sorry, bad habit of an art dealer. Not at all. A few hundred francs. I'll give you a thousand. A thousand? So much? It is a very good work, but there's no sign. I would feel very bad taking so much free work, which is no sign. Then I'll get... They gotta sign it. Wonderful is the deal. But only if you allow me the privilege being there when it is signed. Here, Indy, I want you to have this. This is your drawing Picasso signed. 
It's a souvenir of our adventures. Thanks. This way. I've got him, the old fool. The old bull taken down by the dashing, talented young matador. I don't like this. You're being cruel. <laughs> I'm being brilliant. <laughs> here he comes. Ah, uh, maestro. Thought I'd find you here. <laughs> I just bought one of your masterpieces. Mm. I must have been tired. Tired? I must say, in my humble opinion, that I think it's one of your most brilliant works. Yes. Yes, it's quite remarkable, isn't it? Quite so. <laughs> but alas, you have neglected to sign it, Maestro. Oh. Well, I, I can remedy that. The pigment I use doesn't smell like this. I am such a genius that even he can't tell his own work from mine. Pablo, what are you saying? I painted that painting. And it is so good that Dega signed it as one of his own. Are you out of your mind? It's not funny. I suggest you apologize. Never! The boys will tell you. They were there. Tell him you saw me do this. We didn't see you do it. We didn't see you do it. Them. Right now! The truth is, it looks like a Degas, and it's signed by Degas. What? Pablo, stop! Okay. Monsieur Khan, how would you like to buy this little Picasso? Cuba sketch. Trying to get Pablo to sell me one of these Cubist pieces since January. I'll give you 500 francs for it. 500 francs? For one of his most interesting pieces? This drawing is brilliant. Yes, it's quite good. All right, 800. <sighs> Wait a minute. I didn't do this. Looks good enough to be yours. Is that your signature? It looks like it. Well, I. Yes, it is, but... Uh... Well, who else could draw that good? Brack? No, no, I didn't do it. Well, then who is it, Mr. Picasso? This is you, Pablo. It's wonderful. You're joking too much this morning. It makes my head hurt. <laughs> 1,000 francs, no more. Sold. A good price, don't you think? <laughs> Here. You get half. Listen, if I was staying in Paris longer, I'd be your agent, and that would make you rich. And I have ended up with two wonderful paintings. <laughs> Carl, I'm not sure if Picasso ever knew, but Degas was almost blind at the time. But Degas was a sly old fox, and I, I think he knew what was going on. So in the end, the joke was on Picasso. <laughs> the woman at her toilet by Degas. I have several bids. Three million. Three million six. Three million eight. Three million nine. Four million dollars. Do I hear any more? It's with you, madam, at four million dollars. At four million dollars. Sold Mr. Yamaguchi at four million dollars. Goodbye. Hope so. One fine day, we'll be rich enough to afford a Picasso. Lot number 17, a highly important work by uh, the Duanier Rousseau. Are you sure you want to take this journey? He's been watching my mom. Why would he do that? Be quiet. I don't feel so good. You don't feel so good? Oh, oh, everything oh. is gone. Somebody help me! Am I gonna 
die and go to heaven. You've got a thousand dollars in your life now. You've got to earn me. Typhoid? 